My name is um, Ayoba Miborishade from Ekita State, Nigeria. I am studying microbiology at Olushevo Agagri University of Science and Technology in Okitupa, Ondo State, and I'm 24 years old. As a girl child activist, I work on inspiring change towards sexual reproductive health and rights of the girl child. I educate and empower adolescent girls, especially girls with disabilities on overcoming identified social issues in our society, such as sexual gender-based violence, female genital mutilation, period poverty, and child marriage. My path towards activism started with my own personal experiences. I've lived with, my, with the stigmatization that comes with the fact that my mother gave birth to me when she was a teenager. So as a, uh, as a 14 year old girl, giving birth to a child disrupted, disrupted our own vision for our entire life. As a child, I grew up with a low self-esteem because I found myself in a community that believes that children of teenage pregnancies we end up like their mother. I viewed myself not to be uh, to not uh, not to be good, or that my existence was problem to everyone, especially my mother. Contributing to this feeling was the fact that I've been able to escape sexual violence twice. These experiences along with my family situation, seemed to be sources of pain for me until I got admitted into the university in 2018. That's Ushagun Agagri University of Science and Technology, Tsukupa Undo State, Nigeria. And I found myself in a diverse community surrounded by people with a high rate of teenage mothers, different forms of sexual abuse, and even child marriage. I decided to reason towards how my experiences could be a solution towards the problem faced by the girl child. In my immediate environment, I reached out to some of my departmental colleagues in school and explained my plans for the girl child in that community. So I got a group of volunteers from my classmates and we started with a sensitization program for 500 female students in Okitsubukba on the state. We tagged this program, The Girls' Pride, and addressed the topic of teenage pregnancy, abstinence, and menstrual health and hygiene through a day program. We learned through this work that a more extensive approach was needed. So The Girls' Pride evolved into The Girls' Pride Initiative, a volunteer-based organization with a work plan. In our first year, uh, our programs inspired to engaging in programs for capacity building for girls and women with disability, campaigns on ending female genital mutilation, mentorship programs for girls in tech in Ondo State and others like Ikita State. We also partnered with a few organizations outside Nigeria whose vision aligns with us, such as Igoguletu Foundation Zimbabwe, Let's be girls in Liberia. Um, during this year of growth, we became registered and changed our name to the Girls Pride Initiatives for Sustainable Development. And we now have a structured organization, board members, and staff. With all of this growth, I feel that my tertiary education shaped my activism because. It gave me the platform to assess and network with other activists who share my objectives and create a synergy with them in order to achieve my goals. In addition, I, was, I also was able to seek out mentorship with my current head of department, who is also a lecturer at my university. Uh, being in the school gave me access to such an experienced and influential person was contributed positively to my development, both in academics and activism. Not only did my institution support me in this way, but my course of study as a microbiologist also enlightened me more on the reproductive health of the girl child, as it makes me well informed on related issues that could arise from child marriage, sexual abuse, or poor menstrual management. 
This in turn backs my activism up with facts and gives room for me to identify effective solutions. This is also an area where I feel the university could be more supportive in providing more research opportunities. Having access to more opportunities for research into microorganisms, menstrual health, and hygienic practices for girls will be useful when it comes to my organization's outreach in relation to menstrual management. The practical aspect of my course of study would have contributed more to my knowledge to apply to my social impact work. Over a short period of time, while attending a uh, university, our organization has grown and accomplished much. For example, our capacity building program on ending all forms of violence against girls and women with disabilities empowered 75 girls and women across four communities in Ondo State to stand as advocates for this social problem. Another example of the impact of our work is a Red Flag Conference, which is held every year in commemoration of World Menstrual Hygiene Day. And I like that we've been providing sanitary wear for over 250 girls on a yearly basis. My experience as a student activist shows that higher education impact is not limited to academic achievements only, but it's a platform for exposure and a good avenue for students to identify how they could actively contribute to the development of their society. Thank you.